micro farmer. For those who don't know Homer, you may end up asking yourself how you ever missed out on the micro farmer channel. You collect uh, a bunch of them. So, oh, hit my head on the way. So there go the eggs. Over there, I got so much pellets to clean up. Quiet, quiet on the set. Quiet, quiet, quiet. And uh, this is my cup of coffee. I do it big because I'm going to put this in a pitcher and I'm going to have iced coffee. So I'm an iced coffee guy. Some of his friends are probably your friends, especially if you're into gardening or homesteading or self-sufficiency. Those frequent live streams are helpful for gaining quick connections to, to others who I may be sowing and growing. I and okay? I'm laughing. I'm good. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Uh, that's that North Carolina Raleigh. Good <laughs> morning, <laughs> Deborah. You're mad at me if I steal her camera, so I'm gonna go. I see y'all later. Bye. Freaking sister, I'm here again. Joining one of Microfarmer's live panels is like almost a rite of passage. I won't say it's sacred though, but it's close. But it's oh so much more than just cutting up with YouTube. Put the stones here for the fireplace. Gardeners. You gotta get a little bit more. Let me show you my corn. This is white corn germinating in here. Look at that. Almost getting 100. percent I'll be transplanting that probably later next week. Uh, Collard greens is in here. I need to come in water. And you see the temperature in here. And I had it open a little bit. 74 degrees. Oh, it's like 100. It was, oh, 100. I'm sorry. I mean, he likes uh, showing us whether, what's going like on in the backyard. Um, also, kind of like, do I let those leaves die back and let the potatoes stay in the ground and they'll regrow next year? Water there, but yep, there's there so truly is them. a micro farm back there. And if you want to see how he's doing it, check out Micro Farmer. Love is the main key. Love is the main key features Erica's life as she shares how she finds happiness in all things, including adversity. There are diverse topics on this channel as it focuses on healthy lifestyle, emotions, and even interior spaces. She shares frugal prepping something. tips. Have you an inhaler? It can save your life or their life. So I have an electric light source and I have a non-electric light source. I wrap this water up in a plastic bag just in case if it spills. And I learned that from the survival guy. And because well. she's a foodie. In it. I just made some good old pancakes and sausage. Something else I love about it is it's real simple. I a little soy sauce. When you become blessed, bless somebody else that's her motto and, and you hear it a lot in her videos spreading the love and the motivation there are also decor challenges and dollar tree shopping hauls oh my goodness look at this now winter wishes in gold and they have different sizes and so guess what i've been looking for these for weeks she also has had intentional weight loss and so she shares tips on how to go after your own goals so if you are into manifesting a positive outcome, sharing positive outlooks, or you just want to meet a channel with lots of pep, you're going to love Love is the Main Key. Ms. Sharon, what do you do when you've watched YouTube channels until the people behind them become like family? You step in and hashtag do the things that you've been learning. Miss Sharon has fallen in love with this awesome community of people and she's beginning her channel uploads because of the wonderful and encouraging people like you. Her first uploads are on the shorter side and they focus on harvest preservation via canning. Now you've seen her in the comments, so pop on over and give a look-see to Miss Sharon. Welcome aboard! His name doesn't say it all, but he sure does. <laughs> Finding motivation, spreading love, and the spice of life. Reaping in the community and putting away the harvest. Are these your people? 